Today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite rabbit products that I use almost every day. Keep in mind, this is not really in any specific order. There's not really like a favorite out of all of these. These are just items that I use on a daily slash weekly basis that I think you guys should know about. Everybody say hello to Brenny. She's enjoying this beautiful day we are having. Okay, we're starting off strong with hay. Um, this is Small Pet Select hay, but I keep it in this big bin because it just looks so much nicer and it's way easier to pull the hay out of. It's less of a mess. Um, I did not actually plan on including these bins in this video, but these are like the best. This one's really pretty um, green, but these bins are like the best. I have several of them. Back there, I keep her toys in them. I keep her fleece blankets in them. Um, all of her bedding and stuff, her hay, obviously. So any like big plastic bins, I love, and I have so many of them to store her stuff, especially because I obviously store her stuff outside and half the year it's out in the shed and mice are gonna make their way into the shed. There's nothing you can really do about it. So I like to make sure all of her food, especially is protected from the mice and they're not going to get into it because that would be gross. <laughs> So, the, there's kind of a two for one. I have the small pest select hay. I always get 10 pounds of orchard hay. Another thing I was not planning on including in this video, but um, quite conveniently, Brenny remind me of, um, is this Oxbow roller toy that you can put treats or pellets in. I put her pellets in this morning, and as you can see, she's trying to get the last few out. Sometimes if she's struggling with the last few, I'll just pull them out for her, but um, this is a really, really fun activity for her. It keeps her entertained, and it's like way more exciting than just eating the pellets from a bowl. I don't do this every day, um, but that's a really great product, and I will have all of these linked in the description below if you guys are curious and would like to buy any of them. So the next thing is Oxbow pellets. Um, this is what I feed Brenny for pellets. Over the years, I have tried many different, many, many different kinds of pellets for Brenny. I used to get those horrible, like, I don't know what brand they are, KT um, pellets with like the little treats in them. That was before I was educated. Don't come for me, guys. That was years ago. So I really like these pellets. I haven't had a problem with them. They are affordable for me. So these are the regular, like, a Oxbow adult rabbit pellets. These are like in the red bag. I'll try to pop a picture up of them here, um, but they've been good. I haven't had any issues with them. So those are the pellets I use obviously on a daily basis. Okay, the next thing is herbs. I love feeding Brenny herbs. They're so fun for foraging activities and they're really great for rabbits. They have a lot of benefits. Um, different herbs are gonna do different things. I currently have dried lavender. I will try to remember to link um, where I got this down below, but I found these on this great website that is very affordable. I find um, that a lot of like bunny shops online overprice their herbs so much. And I'm not necessarily saying they're trying to rack up the price to like make a ton of money because I, I don't know what they are paying for the herbs, you know, like in return of what they're getting back. But I will say that where I got these are so much cheaper. So I highly recommend you guys buy from here. Again, I don't remember the name of the place, but I will put it down below. And they have so many options there, but do just make sure you do your research before buying and make sure that the herb you're getting is safe for your bunny. The next thing that I am literally almost out of, like I need to go get more of this today, is pine pellet bedding. Again, I have this in a plastic bin. You can barely see I've got like a tiny bit left, but I get a 40 pound bag of pine pellet bedding from Rural King. It's $5. For 40 pounds, it is the cheapest thing I have to buy for Brenny. So, and it lasts me forever. But I use this in the litter box. I don't use anything on top of it. I have in the past, and it is just so expensive to have to buy a second bedding to put on top of the litter you're already using. And I just didn't think it was necessary for my bunny and my situation. So I put hay on top of the pellets to make it a little bit softer. 
but I love these because they're so absorbent. They do not make it smell. Like they have the best odor control of probably any litter I've tried. Now obviously if you let it go for a super long time, like it's gonna start to smell. But if you keep up on the litter box, keeping it changed frequently, it it really doesn't have a smell. So any type of fruit flavored chew toy like balsa blocks or vine balls or um, fruit flavored loofah slices are all amazing and Brandy loves them so much. Um, they are a little bit expensive so I don't give these to her every day when I have them. They're more like a maybe once a week or maybe every couple of weeks I'll give her one because they're a little bit expensive which I totally understand why but Brittany loves those, they're amazing. Highly recommend you get some for your bunny. Okay, I showed these in my last video, which was a haul, but any sort of Timothy mat or seagrass mat is so amazing. They're just like the best for destructive rabbits because a lot of destructive rabbits love to chew on their flooring or their fleece or whatever you've got. Sometimes with the smaller toys, they get destroyed so fast, it's like hardly even worth your money. Um, but if you get a mat, they last a lot longer and they hold up a lot better to more destructive rabbits. I will leave the links to a couple of mats that I really like in the description below if you guys wanna check those out. Any type of big fleece blanket or a small fleece blanket or a thin one or a thick one. If I see a cute blanket when I'm out shopping and it is not expensive, I'm usually getting it for Brenny. Um, I don't buy expensive ones for her. The most expensive I've got is like $20 ones and those are bigger and thicker and I know they're like not gonna get destroyed as fast um, because she does like to chew them. But you can also get these at like DG, um, probably Walmart, like cheap stores, you can find fleece blankets that actually sometimes are really cute. And I just like to have a stock of these so that for one, I can do like different themes with her pen. So I am always buying more fleece blankets. I can never have enough, especially because lately she's been chewing through them. So yeah, fleece blankets are great. Again, this is not something I really have a link to give you guys because it's more something I just get in stores when I see it but I definitely recommend get your bunny some cute little fleece blankets. The next thing that I use all the time that I never really think about because I it's just something I use on the daily um, is heat lamp and a fan. Obviously there are two different seasons, but during the winter, whenever it's cold, I have a heat lamp on in Brittany's pen or in her hutch and it's so great to help give her a little bit extra warmth. And then during the summer, I use a box fan. I just hang it on the side of her hutch. I don't know how much they cost anymore. They might be $15, $20. I'm not sure. We got hers like a couple years ago. Vinegar and water spray. Just 50-50. Vinegar and water. I use it to clean the litter box. I use it to clean the floor if I need to. Any pee messes vinegar and water, you guys. Okay, I feel like we're about at 11 because, we might be at 12 by now because I added in a couple products, but I'm going to add in one last one and that is the X pen that I use. If anyone is curious, I have two pens connected as you can see. So I have two three foot X pens that I connect and that is Brittany's enclosure for the time that she's in the garage. Of course, when she is out during the summer, this is not her enclosure. Um, but I do still use these for like a play area during the summer. I got these off of Chewy and they were way cheaper when I got them. I have to say the price has gone up, but I will still link it below for you guys. If you do want to buy them, I love these pens. They're a really good size. I have seen some pens that are like smaller and they're just kind of weird, but like these ones are really nice. They're very sturdy. I have had the first one I've had for like probably three years, maybe four, I don't exactly know, but I've had it for a long time. It is getting a little bit rusty in some areas just because I do leave it out in the rain sometimes. You know, that's gonna happen, but I've not had any problems whatsoever with them breaking. They're very sturdy. And that's another thing that like, I don't really think about, but obviously this is 
full time in use during the winter. So um, I love these pants, never had a problem with them. The link will be in the description if you guys are want to buy one. But that is pretty much it for my top 10, 15 Robert products. I don't even know how many exactly was in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below if you have any of these Rabbit products, what your favorite Rabbit products are. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to go on with my Monday now. And I will see you hopefully very soon. Bye! Wincy, bye! Oh, okay.